Hi, I'm Adam. I'm going to be showing you how to take a carburetor off a Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. Here she is. Uh, I have another repairability video that will show you how to repair that carburetor, but I haven't yet showed you how to take it out. Um, here it is. You start out with a 5 16 bit, and uh, you're going to remove that. You remove your air box, so turn that to the left. You got three bolts underneath this air filter that comes out with it, so just pull that forward and upwards. So you have these three bolts also. There's the one in the far right corner. Take that out. These are all 5 16 bolts. Two and three. Pull that whole piece off forward towards you. Okay. And then you're also going to want, let me grab this real fast, a pair of pliers. You're going to take that clamp off. That should be holding your fuel line in. Let's see if I can steady the camera a little bit. And so pinch that and then wiggle it until she comes off. Pull that fuel line out. We'll try not to drip it all over the place. And what I do is I shove them in between the gas tank and the shroud. And if it's full, it won't work. But uh, otherwise, it'll stay there and it won't drip all over the place. All right. One last thing to do is pull this carburetor out. I'm gonna grab my 3 8 bit right here, put it on my drill, ready to go to the left. There's one, and there's two. Okay. Slow and steady on taking this off because at the top here, you could easily wreck this piece. You can see that right there. You need to turn as you go. So down and out. If you don't do it right, you'll be cracking this piece of plastic off. And uh, you don't want to go buy another one of those. So here you are, you got your carburetor. And uh, Check this next vid and I'll show you how to clean her out.